I'm Avdhish and I'm here today with Eric uh, from the Teams product group. We are excited to discuss how Power Automate and Teams can collaborate to create the powerful workflow solutions. So uh, let's jump right in. Uh, I just want to kind of recap on the over the last couple of sessions. My colleagues have talked about the how Teams and Power Platform can work together to create the composite apps that enables better collaboration. Um, they highlighted how Power Platform and Teams can work together, specifically on the actionable dashboard, tab apps, and the Power Virtual Agent for the bot-based chat. So uh, today we want to focus on another powerful tool in the Power Platform, uh, which is the Power Automate in Teams. Uh, Power Automate enables you to create workflows that automate a wide variety of a task from sending alerts and notification to the creating your Arctic car for the better collaboration and automation. So if you are looking for ways to streamline your team's workflows and improve collaboration within teams, so uh, Power Automate and workflow experience in teams are the powerful tool uh, which we can use. Workflow in teams, so there is, a, there is a section, the workflow section in teams, and I would like to introduce that section to you, uh, which is powered by the Power Automate. And the tool that helps you work smarter by automating workflows across a growing number of apps and services that businesses rely on. With, with workflow templates, the possibility for automations are endless. So, for instance, if you do want to create or uh, automation, if you if you want to receive the notification when a certain thing happens, uh, or you want to synchronize your files by connecting to your folders or keep the data current, or you want to kind of connect with the third-party apps to kind of do something when something happens in an app. It should notify in your teams and channel. So the, the best part is that Microsoft Flow makes it possible to automate all of these scenarios and more. And uh, the good news is that we have recently added 21 new workflow teams template, uh, specifically for the 3P apps to better enhance your workflow experience uh, connected with uh, 3P app. So if you're looking for more efficient way to work, workflow or template uh templates in teams are the ones uh, are the ones which you can use so i'll just quickly cover because i need to move into the demo quickly but yeah so as you know like there are the three personas the users basically primary someone who consumes and initiate the workflows and who can actually participate or kind of get that information the makers are the one for the who are the power users and citizen developers who want to create these experiences and developers are the one who can use uh, these power automate templates and the connectors to build the solutions. So I'll quickly talk about the demo. I have chosen the Trello for the 3P, which is we recently added uh, into our workflow experience. So without the further delay, let's dive into a quick demo of a Trello automate templates in Teams. And with the Trello automate templates, you can easily automate your Trello boards and cards without ever leaving the teams. And this means you can streamline your workflows and improve the collaboration with your team. As you can see, there are five workflows are available. So I'll just quickly move away from the presentation mode and just quickly move to the Teams client. Uh, as you can see here, I have already logged into the Teams in a browser and Basically, we need to go to the, and I have already added the Trello app as an app into the, into the Teams client. Now I'll go to the apps, and as you can see here, there is a workflow section. I can go here and can just quickly search the Trello, and it'll give me the, all the templates which are available. For this demo, I'll just use the, this template, which is readily available in the workflow section. So I'll use this one, uh, click on it, it'll give me and it guide me through it. So I'll just sign in. So it will, I already set up the accounts in the trial. So you could see here it has already been signed in. I can click on next. Uh, here it, it gives me the option that which team I want to configure uh, this workflow. So for example, I'll choose as a contest of marketing. Uh, it will automatically give me the options of channels. I have only one channel in that, so I can select the general one. If there are multiple channels, it will give you the option from the drop down where you can select. Uh, the Trello board ID, I already created a dashboard here or the workplace in Trello. So I'll use the contest of electric and the where I want to kind of post this. So I'll just say that, hey, doing section and I'll add a workflow. So it is that simple that. 
a user, an end user can go and quickly create these workflows from the Teams workflow section itself. And as you can see that these workflow added successfully. If you want to manage these workflows, you can click on it and it is powered by the Power Automate. And it opens the Power Automate and it will show you the all the uh, flows which has been created here. Now, as you can see here, that it suggests that it will create a Trello card when a channel post starts, which is true. do. So let's test this in a team and channel that if it is working. So I can go to back to the teams. I have this Pontoso marketing team here. I have this journal. I can start a new conversations and I start with to do. And for example, I say I act mention someone. In this case, I'll just act mention Adele and say, can you please start the surveys for our marketing department? And I'll just post this. The moment I post it, it should create, and you can see that the Power Automate flow kicks in, and it should create a card in my Trello board. And as you can see in the workspace, that this card has been created. Now from the Trello, I can assign to someone, and we can, we can configure the other notifications as well if needed. So these are the templates uh, which are available in the workflow sections, but you can create your own. But I just wanted to show you the template which is available, and there are many more apps are available which you can use uh, to create these workflows. So now I wanted to kind of hand, you over, hand it over to Eric, who's going to talk about the Power, Power apps and the Power Automating team. So Eric, hand it uh, over to you. Thank you, Avadesh. Um, so if, like me, you're a props maker, uh, you probably realize that you know, enabling your props within Teams can be a challenge and it's still a science. So we leverage uh, the pro automate flows uh, to create kind of shortcuts and templates into connecting your props with Teams. So we firstly release three templates that really help you to trigger an action in N365, but then follow up in Teams. So we went after the most popular one, obviously approval, seems to be very, uh, very uh, popular, uh, SharePoint I, either, and, and as well a simple one that's just uh, the purpose of notifying a user. Um, so let me switch to the demo because I guess it's gonna be more efficient than talking. Uh, the idea here is I'm, I'm a ProApps maker, and as you all probably know, it's very hard to just add a button that's going to trigger an action in Teams. So the idea was let's propose a template to make that simpler. Uh, so you'll see if you go into that quite flow section, uh, three new templates were released last month uh, that are that are here and triggering Teams action. Um, for this demo, I'm just going to use the simple one about notify a user. So obviously, it creates a connection in Teams to send the message, and you can use your account or service account if that makes sense. And then it's just going to ask you for your pro apps URL, and you can create the flow and you're done uh, in terms of setting the connection. Then you just want to put a button in place and Select the unselect option of that button that is here, obviously, and you just want to run the flow, uh, provide the email address of the person you want to notify, bring a title and the text you want to send. Um, so let's try it out. I'm running my props, whether it's in the browser or in Teams is relevant. Uh, I'm just clicking the button, and when I go back in Teams, Automatically, I'm receiving an adaptive card uh, that's going to have a logo, your title, your text, and with a button that's actually opening your own power apps into a stage view. Um, so enabling you to notify the user, but as well bringing back directly into the power apps for ease of use. Uh, obviously, that comes with another advantage. It's you can use that template as learning opportunity so I can reopen, for example, the SharePoint one. And we tried as well to put within the template pointers into the documentation. Uh, so uh, for example, you want to learn about 
or you want to pray to deep link, we did put uh, the logic, we're doing it, but as well the link back to the documentation. Um, so feel free to send us feedback because it's only the beginning of that work. And uh, thank you. Thank you.